I lost my hairbrush. Hadar found it for me in the suitcase. That's a really rough in it there. They left the water running for us last night. Sounds pretty, doesn't it? We're ready to go. There's a, a son and father fishing there, and I believe that boy just caught a fish. Or he got stuck on something. <laughs> You're allowed to fish there, but they charge you $6 per fish or $6 a pound if you catch over 16. And there's a uh, trout in there. I saw trout. He's, he looked about 6 inches, so he's probably about 8 or 12 out of the water. Oh, he just stepped on something. I don't know if he's killing it or what he's doing. <laughs> Hadar's trying to type in our directions on the tom tom your now, mind is wrong your address you just gave me was wrong really literally no yes, i typed it out wrong. that's wrong i guess we'll just look at it here again oh okay well anyway this tom tom it takes you on an exploring trip she likes to take you through town why is it a she because she says she says stuff that's just a narrator Oh, the narrator is a woman. And yeah, she'll take you through town. She says, have you ever been to this town? Let's go to downtown in the middle of rush hour traffic. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Downtown Orlando in the middle of rush hour traffic. Have you ever been to St. John's Parkway at five o'clock? I think it'll be neat. A neat experience. Let's go explore. Yeah, what's the place called? <laughs> We're gonna go to uh, Ruby Fall. No wait. What's Duke's the... Creek? Duke's Creek Gold and Ruby Mine. They named all their houses uh, pretty much after Indians and things. Uh, this one right here is called the Seneca, and it looks like the only cabin that they actually take care of. It's like the nicest one. Um, Here's the campgrounds, really nice campgrounds, and you do get to camp right on the water as well, so it's, it's really nice. But uh, if you wanna stay in a cabin or that motel thing, I wouldn't really suggest it. It was very expensive for what we got. Yeah, um, $90 for just a bid, but yeah. it was worth it. In my opinion. We needed it because we drove a long way and, and we, we didn't grilled. sleep. We grilled. Yeah, we grilled. We had fun. So we had to wash them up the things too. And yeah. if we were out here, this is where we would camp, this tent area. Yeah. We wouldn't have a good place to do it. No. And uh, a shower is also nice after. The shower is nice, yes, I will admit. And it is getting cold out here. It's pretty cold in the mountains right now. Uh, chilly. It's a, it's a good temperature. It yeah, feels like good it. out here. Yeah. This is what you get. Uh, this is your campground. So you get a little bridge to drive over and you camp right here right in front of the water you get a picnic table and a camp fire site you have to buy bundles of wood yeah there's the creek so if you're car camping this would be great too you know Look down there at the water it's, it's very awesome. pretty it's relaxing we were able to sleep really well in that cabin. Yeah. It is very pretty here. This is where we stayed, Inota. Three dollars to tube down the river. Yeah. Looks like a lot of fun. Just want to give a quick shout out to Mojo Pin 12 because he has gotten all of our movie references right. Every single one of them. We're gonna get more, don't worry about that. Mojo yeah, we're pen. gonna get more Mojo Pen. But in honor of you getting them all right, Hadar's gonna give you a smile since she says he doesn't smile enough. We're at Hansel and Gretel Candy Kitchen and Chocolate Factory. We're in Helen, Georgia. And this is the Pies and Pints of King's Court. You get pizza and looks like pizza and beer. We're gonna There's go a in golf here. Of course, right up there. 
Oh yeah, there's a golf course up there. There, that's not the really cute one though that I showed yesterday. Are we going into the chocolate factory? The Hansel and Gretel Candy Kitchen and Chocolate Factory. Yeah, and I'm gonna get my mom because she's been hankering for some fudge. I'm gonna see if they have fudge for her, and I'm gonna get her some. It's probably very expensive. <laughs> oh, that's such a pretty box, though. She's gonna like that. I'm filming while Hadar's song came on. Anyway, it was as expensive as I had imagined it to be. It was about a dollar a piece for the candy, but uh, my mom has really been wanting fudge, so I walked in and I was like, how much is your fudge? And she's like, oh yeah, it's over there. And I was like, yeah, the chocolate fudge. She said, yeah, oh yeah, we're out of it. <laughs> they had everything but the chocolate fudge, so I got our chocolate pecan. Comes in a nice fancy bag. This was $7.69, so uh, yeah, it's high. It's really high, but uh, I think she'll appreciate this. Look at this weird plant. It's called a fuchsia. Look how pretty. Yeah. Okay, I got a small bucket of the emerald and ruby, and Hadar got a small bucket of the mixed. And here's the panning thing. You're gonna drop your dirt into here, and then wash it off and see what you get. Let's go ahead and get you a fistful of dirt there. Don't drop any, might be gems in there. Yeah, you got a gym already? You got a couple. You drop it in there and then you wash it off. Should I put more on? That's no, that's good. And just sift through it or what? Yep. And yeah. then little rocks. They could be gems too. You better look. Yep, just went to Duke's Creek. That's that fuchsia plant. Look how it's got... Looks like cherries and then it blossoms out. To be red and purple. So beautiful. Now, a few years ago, we went to um, Gold and Jim Grubbin in uh, Georgia, and that's a, a little while south from where we are right now, because we're in Helen, Georgia. Um, and it was, honestly, it was better than this place, but I think they kind of added stones to their stuff so you would get a whole bunch of gems, you know, for the money. Um, this place, we didn't get a whole lot of gems. We got like a sandwich bag full, but he did have a whole lot of rubies and uh, emeralds and stuff in the emerald bucket that we got, the emerald and ruby bucket. It's an interesting thing to do, to, to do that. You could also buy buckets of gold, um, but gold panning would take a really long time and you have to kind of have skills to do that. And we don't have either right now. So we're driving on the interstate, going home, and uh, Hadar asked me about the milk truck, and he said, are you saying that that milk truck is full of milk? So they don't have that there, do they? They don't have that in Israel. They, they go to the place and they package it there and they transport it in the package. Uh, we get our milk in plastic bags, but we also have um, half gallon containers. We do not have any gallon containers of anything in Israel. Everything's like half gallon and that's really big for Israel. Usually it's, it comes in, what's it, pints? Two, two points? It's not a pint, it's not a quart either, it's in liters. Yeah, it's in, it's in liters. A liter like, is almost a quart. Or a quart is almost a liter. It's three oh, yeah, four wait. Ounces. It comes in a quart. Quart sized bags is what it comes in. Okay, that's right. You don't realize um, how America runs until you go on the interstate. Um, we would be lost without truckers. Uh, you know, they, they make the world run. If it weren't for truckers, you wouldn't have nearly everything that you do right now 
they transport everything that you have so um, you should really respect them on the road and shout out to BC Truck. <laughs> we stopped at Walmart and uh, it pays to look down sometimes because I found a gold earring. It's gold and it has been um, mashed. mashed by a vehicle. So I'm going to take this in and have it melted down. Here's Florida. It's only been here for 500 years. Just got a free map at the visitor center in Florida. So my mom doesn't have a map, but I wanted to show you how big this parking space is. Now Hadar has like a foot and a half on his side, but look at my side. Look at that. Now this is a normal parking space. Look. You don't get that in Israel. That's that's primo. You don't know how lucky you have it. <laughs> Turn around if possible. This is the wrong way, Jack. Okay, la high life. <laughs> okay, I thought they had like highlight games here. <laughs> Am I stupid? Okay, no, it's all. This is a poker place or something. And there's the TVs where you like bet on dog races. And if you win, you get the money right there. <laughs> okay, this is really silly. And then they have like slot machines here. I've never been here, so that's why I wanted to look. Okay, and there's a poker room. Look at the floor. Pretty cool. Hmm. Alright, let's congratulate Roscoe on 16 with his tents full of aces. Highlight. Okay. You see the sign? Do you see that one little thing right there? And he's throwing a ball like that thing's throwing a ball. That's supposed to be highlight. So that's what I thought this was, and we can go see highlight. So we walked in and it's all like poker and we don't gamble or anything. So you like gambling? No. You a gambling man? Sure things. Yeah. We're home, flat land. What do you think about this low country? It's terrible. Do <laughs> you love the mountains, huh? Yes. He's a mountain man. <laughs> I don't know about all the mountains because we were driving next to it and it was actually making me sick. We were on top of a mountain. And I looked over, there's no guardrail or anything, and about one foot off of the pavement, the paved road, there goes... It's because it's a mountain. A cliff. A mountain, that's what it's for. A cliff that goes straight down. Okay. There wasn't an a incline, it was straight down. 90% humidity, flies, love bugs, anything, anything comes out of you here, eats you up. That's not better, is it? No, I didn't say I liked Florida, I don't like Florida. It's too hot here. I'll pick this any day. I, I do like where we live. We live uh, near, well, my mom. My mom lives near Ocala. Um, she doesn't live in Ocala. She lives in the woods. And uh, Ocala is about two hours, I guess, or an hour and a half away from Orlando. And it's about an hour away from uh, of Daytona, you know just like an hour away from everything in central florida so i do like the area that she lives in i just don't like the weather here i never did like the weather in florida i love the weather in the desert desert's nice georgia was actually really nice the weather was nice georgia was a the weather was good yeah yeah he's he he's like in georgia in the mountains <laughs> the as appalachians as got, even in atlanta it was nice and cool and then we got into the mountains and it was even oh, nicer yeah. and cooler and less humidity and awesome. Yeah, I liked it. They're opening Raphael's birthday presents early. And then we have that toy. Letter that completes the bridge. Press a letter to enter. Wah, <laughs> wah. Just give it to me, Grandma. This is mine now. <laughs> oh, we're not gonna lick it. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
So, mm, here, press these keys. How, how you like your your fudge, Mom? Oh yeah, it's real good. Thank you. <laughs> fudge is not on that. Put him on the table. Got to get a steady surface. See all my stuff. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Come here, duckies. Come here. Oh, oh, that's a, oh, that's cute little nibbles.